say that they were dominant is a little bit odd because they only won the title by one goal. Level on points. That you know, Vikings scored more than them over the course of the season, but it was that one goal on goal difference. The better defense held out for Valkyrie in the end. Tomorrow, it's a tough one to call. Valkyrie are looking at uh, Vikings A's lost to back as a earlier in the season and thinking, wow, for the first time in years, this team looked beatable. Vikings A, however, they are one of the sides that just keep surprising me. One week, they're saying, oh, you know what, after last week's loss, we don't know how they're going to react this week. And they just seem to get better and better. They always seem to be able to have that extra gear that they're able to go up. In my eyes, Vikings A are the favourites, but Valkyrie A won't, won't mind being you know, very, very, very slight underdogs. The pressure's not on them. Um, and I think Valkyrie could spring a surprise, but the, it's there's going to have to be a mighty fine performance for Valkyrie to do it. Has it added fuel to the fire, the fact that Vikings A weren't league champions this year, and the manner in which it happened as well? I think the thing is with the... When I watched the game against Ramsey, the Vikings A um, ladies were gracious in defeat. Um, they knew it was a hard task from the word go, from the moment they found out they had points deducted in the league. And it, it just shows that, you know, and one example would be um, Kirsty Cooper, the first thing she did after the final whistle was run over to the Valkyries players who were all celebrating wildly on the sidelines and shake each one of their hands. So I don't think there's going to be any sort of sense of aggro or anything like that. I think it's going to be an intense battle and a mighty, mighty fine game to watch. Uh, what kind of achievement would it be? Where would it rank if Valkyries A were to complete a double? For most of those players, it's the first and only time it's probably ever going to happen. Um, given that Vikings they have dominated for so long, that sort of dominance isn't going to happen again. And when you look how close that Premier Division was this season, you had four teams all in the, with the second, with the penultimate week able to win the title pretty much. So it's it'll be a massive, massive achievement for them. Some of those players are coming towards the end of their careers. Some of them are just starting their careers. But I don't think we'll see a period of dominance like that ever again.